Hi guys, welcome back to another update video for Local Online. And today I've got a gigantic update for you guys. Because we have been working on this game behind the scenes for a long time. Our developer has added so much new stuff, it's just insane. So if we log in, we can see my base. And as you can see, I have bought a lot of eagle tents. And they're all level 4, as you can see, because there's actually a little flag that indicates what level my eagle tents are. Previously, our base was very blocky. But now we can actually expand our base and we can do that by buying new parts of studs. If we click on this 500 studs button and click yes, we can see that it actually disappears and we can build stuff on it. So let's take a look at what we can build. At the moment we can buy a lot of buildings. The only thing is that only the stud producing buildings actually work. The brick producing buildings also work but the bricks aren't added to a counter. Studs do though and they are the main currency in the game as of now. We also have a brand new weapon shop in which you can buy new weapons with studs. If you take a close look, you can see that some weapons are better than others, and some weapons even have icons attached to them. These icons indicate a special attribute these weapons have. Some weapons have an effect that makes them do extra damage, some weapons have an effect that makes them slow enemies, all kind of stuff. Also, we've added some quests. We only have like two quests now. I have already done them, but if you want to do them, on the top right corner, there will be an icon of a lion or an eagle. There will be a quest which you can do for some rewards. We've also added a brand new leveling system. Now, as you can see, I am level 11, but you of course start in level 11. You gradually need more XP to level up, and I think the leveling goes to level 30. I don't think anyone's ever reached it yet, but some people are definitely trying. Props to you guys, and I wonder who would do it first. If we go to the map, there are two regions that you can go into. We have the Forest of Falling Leaves, the Great Divide, and the Outlands. The Outlands currently doesn't have a map attached to it yet. The Great Divide does, but we're not going to take a look at that, because we're going to go to the charge region, namely the Forest of Falling Leaves. If you click on it, you'll see a big map. And on this chart, you can see the whole map. Currently, everyone only has one portal unlocked, and it will stay that way for the time being, but later you can unlock more portals. If you click on the portal, you get teleported to the start, and as you can see, there are checkpoints now. So if you die, you respawn at your checkpoints. And from here, you can kill enemies to your heart's content. They will drop healing items, health, armor and weapons. The further you go out from spawn, the higher level the enemies will be. And to kill them, you'll need better weapons, which you can get by killing higher level enemies. And those enemies drop weapons according to their level. To use higher level weapons, you need to level up. You need to grind a bit and then you can use higher level weapons. There also are a bunch of hidden chests scattered throughout the world, which give you loot. But the most exciting change yet is the multiplayer. This has been a highly anticipated feature and we're finally adding it. However, it's a bit limited at the time. For now, it's just LAN multiplayer. It's not a problem, however, because you can still play with your friends. LAN multiplayer means that you can only play it with the people on your local network. And you'll be connected automatically with each other when you're on the same local network. However, this doesn't mean you can't play with people from a distance. At the end of the video, I'll show you how to play with people from a longer distance. But that isn't the only thing I've got for you because i also got a new membership code for y'all the member code is on the screen right now and if you want to activate it go to your in-game settings menu and click redeem code then fill it in and click ok with this you can unlock new weapons and new armor now i'm going to explain how to play multiplayer with your friends so what you're going to do is you're going to go to your desktop you're going to go to google chrome then you're going to search up hamachi download you're going to go to the Hamachi VPN.net and not Softonic. You're going to click download now. Wait till it's downloaded. You can go here to downloads and double click this. Then we get this setup menu. What you're going to do is choose your preferred language, which you know is different for everyone. And click next. Once you have done that, you can click on I have read and agree to the license agreement. Then click next. Then you get this menu. Just click on install. Then you'll get a pop-up. Just click yes. Once it is loaded, you'll get this screen. Just click on finish, but make sure you have launched how much you enabled. Then you'll get to this window. What you're going to do is make an account, log in, and click this power button. Then what you're going to do is go to the network, create a new network, then make a network ID. This can just be anything, it's just the name of the network. I'm just going to choose for Shima. Then you're going to make a password, and choose a password, and confirm your password, and then click create. If you want somebody else to join you, he or she needs to go to network, go in an existing network, fill in the network ID that you just created, and fill in the password. And if you want to join each other, have a Machi open on both systems, and if everything went well, you should be able to join each other in the same world. So guys, that was the tutorial on how to play multiplayer in local online. I hope you guys have a lot of fun playing the game again, or well, at least a part of the game. But besides that, have an amazing day and good.